Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. Today I'm with Simon. We're at IMTS. We're stoked on the Akuma booth. One of the most exciting things about manufacturing, in my opinion, is the evolution of automation as it continues to grow. And AMR is one of my favorite subjects, Simon, because it really does take the work away from me. And just I'm watching a whole cell run here from parts changing, part washing, measuring, parts loading, unloading. It really is up to the imagination at this point of what can and can't be done. But I'd love to hear more about what you guys have set up in this entire cell. Absolutely. Tony, you're exactly right. So the AMR in this cell here, this is more for your imagination. It doesn't have to be a, a simple process like this. Uh, we have a grinder set up here and a multi, so it's basically operation 10 and 20. So we're going to cut the part, we're going to skive the gear. From there we're putting the part into the Renishaw, uh, measuring some features. If it's out of spec we can do tool adjustments, work offsets and things like that in the multi. And um, we have that paired with our Akuma robot loader, which is one of our standard products. We'll talk about that in a second. But basically we're shoveling the part from up 10 to up 20 on the grinder. We're going to take those final grinding passes, make the part perfect you know, to the micron, but that just opens the door because now we have the part on a cart. So we can take that part from here and take it anywhere. That grinder doesn't have to be anywhere near this multis. You can have two different buildings where you set up your operation. You can have your grinding in one building, your cutting in one building. You can take it from here to a station, put it through a parts washer. You can have additional inspection, you can have a laser engraver, you can have whatever, whatever you can find in this building, we can connect it to that. Uh, ideally, after this, you would take it to a packaging location or something that would just box it up, put the shipping label on, and it's ready to roll. So, like I said at the beginning, right, we just released the Akuma robot loader, so we're super excited about that. We have two versions of that in the booth. This is the rotary version R8, means it has an 8 kilogram payload. Um, this one's customized for the cell, but it's super easy to set up. It's got a, a converse, conversational program in language, basically. You don't have to be a robot programmer to sell this or to use it. It's made so you punch in a couple part, uh, you know, you punch in a couple dimensions of the part. You tell the machine which program to run, and the thing is just going to load and unload parts for you. So ideally, you'd load this thing up at the end of your shift when you come in the morning. All the parts you need for the day are already cut. And maybe in that box you were talking about. And uh, <laughs> ideally in that box I was just talking about, exactly. Yeah. Yep. You know, I've been into a lot of shops. I've ran a lot of shops myself. I've programmed a lot of machines out there, Simon. And some of my longest cycle times are actually the cycle of setup and breakdown. So when I see a machine or an AMR or a setup that can load and unload tools, that can load and unload parts, that can really take all of that hands-on work and make it hands-off work at this point, and then you're right, put it into a box at the end of the day. That's where all of this comes into play, and it is the imagination, my friends. Use your imagination. Talk with Simon. Talk with Akuma. You can do it all. Absolutely, yeah. If you take a couple steps further down in the road, you can see the robot that is actually loading and unloading the tools in the lower turret. Not a lot of machine tool companies can do that. We can. So we can shuttle apart from here, right around the corner, pick up some coffee on the way and load the tool in the other machine. Not a problem. Pick up some coffee on the yeah, way. Absolutely. I like that. One thing I want to close out with, Simon, is just your ability to cater to the people who work with you. And what I want them to understand is sometimes when we step out of a comfort zone, we get a little bit nervous. But you guys have done such a wonderful job of helping the uncomfortable feel comfortable. And a situation like this feels new and maybe exciting and maybe a little nerve wracking. But you guys come in and go, look, we, had, we got your back, we're going to help you out, and we're going to make this easy for you so the uncomfortable then becomes comfortable, right? Absolutely, yeah. So that's actually the approach we took with the Akuma robot loader. So what we've done is we, our motto is uh, Akuma factory automation, automation for all. So we're trying to promote standard products. So what we've done is we have a robot loader interface on the machine, which is a, a really nice, robust interface. We use it for all of our automation. And we basically just plug this loader in, we have our signals all set up and matched, and it's easy for the end user. There's no figuring out wiring, connecting manually IOs, pulling new wires, all this kind of stuff. We eliminate all that. Uh, we do, we do uh, when you select it or when you buy a robot loader, you automatically get the auto doors in the machine, the robot interface, um, and a tape switch on the doors to make them safe. So if you talk to one of our distributor partners like Gossig or Morris Hardwick, uh, they know how to install. So they've been trained on the standard automation. So even though Okuma is located in Charlotte, our distributor network can take care of this just as they take care of our machine. 
The motto is keeping it simple, easy to service, one throw to choke, right? If this robot messes up, you don't call Fanuc, you call Akuma, and our guy is going to be there fixing this thing. Yeah, very well said, Simon. I appreciate Thank your you, time today. You have 14 machines under power today, so you ready yep. to do another 20 interviews? Absolutely. Let's go. I like this guy. Right on <laughs> camera, right on cue, ready to go. Thank you all for joining us. This is what the future looks like. Actually, this is what the now looks like. Give my friends at Akuma a call.